These are the improvements for 2018 on the Cymet clamp. First, you'll notice the numbers on our clamp was the most obvious change. These numbers are now more accurate than they were on our clamp in the past. They were rendered with computer digital reckonings and the same method that they do the reckonings and rendering for NASA robots. So that you may, if you compare the clamps to our old clamp, you may see slight differences, not a huge amount, but you may see slight differences with the angles. These angles are accurate. Also, you'll notice that our detente is larger than it was in past years, but it also has this little hole right here. Do you see the little hole? That hole allows me to come in with my Allen wrench and for instance I'm set on 30 degrees which would be way too blunt for a um, beauty shear. Let's say let's set it on 45 which is going to be more realistic. I move my detente into place and now when I loosen this I can rotate back and forth and not go beyond the 45 degrees. But if I want to move it up a little bit, and in the past, if you remember, we used a little spacer in here. Um, we used a little piece of plastic that we put in here to, to space it out. Uh, that's no more. We don't need this anymore. We can take this, screw in that little hole, and you see where it's 45? Now I can make it 46, 47, depends on how many times I turn it. That means on some of the shears when I'm doing the polishing, if I want to have it polished right up close to the edge, I might just move it up one degree. If I want a little bit more toothiness to the edge, I can move it up a little bit more. Um, there's a lot of other things that you can do as far as being able to adjust this by one degree at a time that you'll discover as you're in there in the sharpening field. That's one of the most exciting improvements I've found on the clamp. Another one, and this may seem minor, but it does come into play. Um, the ledge here is lower. The purpose of it being lower is, have you ever sharpened a shear and you put it, you decide you don't want to take it apart and you put it in your clamp And the ledge keeps you from getting a flat edge because the ledge is higher, so your, 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 your shear is up here. So this ledge being lower, see, does not interfere with this blade. If you've used the old clamp, you'll know what I'm talking about, the problems with it. Also, this ledge can come off altogether. It can move in any direction, which is something that was not possible before. Um, it has more flexibility to it. But I, I like the ledge because it gives me a little bit more security in how the shear is placed in the clamp. But you can it can be moved around and adjusted to you. The other advantage is this arm is a half inch longer. It doesn't seem like much, but let me show you the advantage of that. If you're sharpening a long shear, and you'd never be doing it 45, not something like this, you would be down at probably 35. I'm guessing. So if you're sharpening long shear and you're at 35 degrees, you now have room to get in here. Do you see this? You used to be a, used to not be able to get that far because that extra half inch allows me to bring this all the way out. And it's also has an advantage when you're doing left-handed shears. The other thing I like about that a, a additional length on the arm is when I'm carrying the machine it'll now flip around the back, which seems a little easier for me to carry than having it hitting right here. So I, I like to be able to carry it in the back. The arm is on a smoother base here, and this makes for a smoother, more sturdy rendition. Did you notice the holes are out of here now? You can, in an emergency situation, um, obviously, um, an alignment bar is going to be your best way to measure the check your alignment on the shear. But let's say you want to do a quick check. You can on this flat bar sort of get an idea of how far off you are. If you're way, if you're um, if 
your alignment is way off on a pair of shears. So it does have some um, advantages there. Also, I like to sometimes lay my shear on here just to see what the curvature is. It's kind of interesting to see uh, what the curvature is on the shears. On the um, Cymac, you can sharpen any... And when I'm talking about this curvature, I'm talking about some people call it a radius or a belly or whatever. You can sharpen and follow the exact shape of the blade by creating the same size burr all the way from the back to the tip because they don't all have the same curvature and you can definitely see that by laying them on a flat edge. Um, the Cymec will sharpen anything from a 500 to a 1200 uh, radius on a shear and everything in between. As you know as a professional sharpener there is no such thing as one radius fits every shear. Now one other thing we have on the Cymec that I don't use very much myself because I'm usually sharpening on the side. I have arthritis in my hands and this clamping system is much more ergonomic for me with um, hand issues because the weight of the shears are on the arm. I'm not having to hold anything up. But there are some of you that like to sharpen upright. And if you like to sharpen upright, and I'm going to turn it upright, and if you're in a situation you have to stand up or you have some back issues or or for whatever reason you prefer to sharpen upright. You may with, have problems with the clamp kind of sliding off on you as you're, as you're sharpening upright. This red knob here allows you to clamp your clamp onto the arm so that you don't have it coming off. You're able to sharpen an upright position without having to worry about your clamp falling off the arm. Um, I don't use this very often because I'm usually sharpening on the side. But if you do sharpen upright and you have problems with the clamp coming off, I've also seen people that have a tendency to, when they sharpen, lift the clamp up off, off the arm. This allows it to stay in place. So that's what this knob is for. Just like the clamps in previous years, you can still do lefties coming from the opposite side. You can still rotate it to get a convex edge or tighten it down to stay to get a beveled edge and um, the the knob up here turning is now a little bit easier because you don't have just the round knob you've got something you can grab a little bit better with your hands so I I like the improvements on our clamp I think it's the the simplest the most accurate most ergonomic and the sturdiest of all the clamps on the market for doing shears and as I said I'm an advocate for sharpening in the salon using a clamping system because that way you can accurately set the angle of the shears know what angle you did it at write it down go back in and be able to modify it if the stylus wants a little sharper a little bit more uh, tooth to a little stronger edge and um, I can't say enough about these clamps. We do sell them separately now. You don't have to own a Cymac. We do sell them separately. Or if you have the older Cymac and the older arm, we can upgrade. Those are on our website. So just let me know if you want to upgrade your, your clamp. If you have any questions about a clamp, um, they should be answered on our website. Give us a call. We will see you at the hair shows and at the sharpening convention.